Hello, welcome to today's Armstrong Sales Coaching Sales Tip. In actuality, today's tip has more to do with sales management. Some people out there have been sharing with us that, you know, as they grow as an organization, sometimes they have conflict. As the screen says behind me, tips to, be, to manage conflict can be very important if you want your company to grow. So before we even get into the tips, we really have to know why does this happen? Poor communication could be a part of the symptom of having conflict in an organization. In other words, someone talking too much, not listening, making assumptions. That's a big one, by the way. Incomplete or incorrect information, bullet point two. Weak management style or technique, maybe some social or cultural or personal differences, and maybe just not enough recognition. And so these are just things that we have to be aware. These are potential causes of conflict. Conflict, if they're going on in your company, we have potential remedies for some of these things. So behind me it says, have clearly defined job descriptions and instructions. You know, it's, it's very interesting when I am with an organization that I just started working with, sometimes we'll find out that their job descriptions and what the, the, the instructions for that individual, they're just not very clear. They're very broad. I'm going to show you a slide in a moment that you may not be able to read, but what it talks about is this is just a page out of our own book about the 90-day onboarding process. This happens to be one the first week that someone starts and it's very clearly laid out. We should have a daily, a weekly, a monthly, a 30-day, a 60-day, a 90-day description when someone starts working with our firms so that they clearly understand the expectations. They clearly understand what their role is and how, how to go about it. Furthermore, I find it actually helps me so I don't have to spend as much time with each individual when we can have the, these things clearly defined and they can go out and do them on their own. They can come in every day and know exactly what it is that they're supposed to do. Okay, clearly state unacceptable behavior. You know, just like a family, it's really important for everybody in a company to understand what is acceptable behavior and what is not. You may not be able to read the parentheses, but it says gossip, manipulation, and passive aggressiveness. These things we know go on in companies, but the problem is if we don't have that as an agreement as to what to do and not to do, these things happen. And, and you can get a really bad what we call locker room uh, within a company when these things aren't discussed. Just like the picture behind me, you know, the Air Force for our own military has rules and guidelines when they do debriefings after a mission or after a, a, a test that they're going to do in flight. So some of the things they will talk about doing as an example is they will say, hey, once we have a debrief, nothing that was discussed in the debrief is allowed to be discussed outside the, the meeting. Wouldn't that be cool to do as a company? If you are going to talk about something, what you don't want to do after a meeting is to have all of this talking about it afterwards and, and having this bad locker room and, and issues coming up and only a couple people are talking about it. It creates gossip. It, in, okay, so the Air Force has rules like that. They have rules like in a meeting anybody can speak and they cannot be held against them. There's no rank in the Air Force meetings because if there were things would be left unsaid and that of course could cause lives uh, to be affected. So have rules of engagement and everybody in a company should understand what's acceptable and what's not acceptable. We also should know is it personal or professional. If, if you have something to discuss with somebody we should know is it a personal thing that just has to do with our personal differences or is it professional that will help you better understand what to do about it. Very often we will find that the difference between somebody and somebody else in a company has nothing to do with the professional differences. It has more to do with personality styles. So if you want to learn more about this, learn more about as an example DISC personality profiling. If you're a D, you won't understand an S necessarily. If you're an I, you may not get what a C means when they, when they act a certain way. So be familiar with that as well. Separate, this one says, separate the problem from the person. 
How do we do that? We teach in here to keep everything very intellectual when you're, when you're coaching people, not emotional. We have to separate intellect from emotion or it can result in conflict. We even teach that with emails. If you're gonna send out emails where there's a conflict, make sure that there is no personal or emotional level of communication in there or you'll hurt yourself. Better yet, pick up the phone and call. All right. If you're in the middle, it says listen to both sides and get both sides to commit and take ownership for the solution. And furthermore, what it says on the gray band in the middle, no reneging on the agreed upon solutions. So get both parties that are in conflict to create something that they can both do, commit to, and make sure that they stick to their to their what they say they're going to do. And then lastly, it says pick your battles. You know, some of the best parenting adv advice I ever received was from a client that might be even listening to this video. And he says, Kirk, let me tell you something. The best advice that was given to me, I'm going to give to you. And it was simply this. Don't overreact. All right, when we overreact, there's so many millions of, of things we could react to in business, same as, as parenting. My advice to you is the same as that client gave me once upon a time. Don't overreact. We, we have to pick our battles. There's so many things that conflict uh, could be, but sometimes doing nothing is the best advice we could give. We hope this management sales tip was good for you today and listen for more of these that they, as they come out in the future. Thank you.